Now he starts to shadow the inside move. Corsa is there, through into the number one position. So Corsa now leads Laconi from Edwards, Okada. And back in a little closer then. Already, I mean, oh, he's made through that. Oh, no, I don't believe what I'm seeing. Corsa's gone very wide. He's just able to hang on to it. Wow, that was so close. A back marker there that just got in his way. Very, very lucky to stay on there. He ran extremely wide. The track gets slippery when you get out wide because of all the rubber debris there. That was so close for number three, Troy Corsa. Five wins in their season last year. He started in Kyle Army with Super Pole. That brought the team to their feet and they loved it. And there was more success to come. Corsa begins the year with a win, as he did last year in Valencia. In style, Corsa takes out the season opener and says yes. Hey up, so the garage is clean, me and my wife spent all day yesterday cleaning out the garage and we've cleaned every single bike, uh, we've got the panels laid out, ready for inspection because they've been collected today, quite excited about it, a little bit nervous as well hopefully, the, um, the guy who's coming to collect them, Andy, is going to say what a fantastic job, um, what we're gonna, I'm going to show you the panels and what we're going to be doing next is Waiting for his bike to be assembled, then we're going to travel down to AP Workshops on Wednesday to see uh, the bike completed. Do some more video in there, take some photographs, and Bruce will be giving us his feedback on whether he likes it or whether he doesn't. So let's take a look at what we've got. So here we are, all completed. You know, I actually do love that grey pinstripe on the nose. It's something so little, but I do quite like the... the uh, colour of it and the design of it which I've done um, all of this is now complete I've made some I've put some aluminium gauze in there inside these side panels because I didn't have any I want really I want this to be bolt straight on job when it gets down there so I've temp I've glued um, just use hot glue hot melt glue to stick these carbon fiber panels on only tack them on with hot melt just so that can be fitted straight away. I'll let them, I'll let Griff or something, he might have some uh, little clips or something to put on the back of them to secure them more tightly. I've even uh, polished up this carbon fiber tail light sound. I want one of them. They're really, really rare. I want one. If you know where to get one from, please send me a link. Well, that's all done, the seat unit. And the sticker actually, where I put the sticker actually lines up pretty well. And the tank, of course, I had to redo the tank. I had to repaint it because uh, when I got it outside, there was a run somewhere down here. I noticed a run in it. So I thought I cannot let that go like that. So I had to repaint the tank. But overall, it's pretty good. Pretty decent jobby, that is. So I've got here the inner uh, fairing parts, the, the centerpiece, which was deformed. We fixed that. And the two fairing, um, little panel flanger things, I don't know what they are, inspection covers, maybe it's, right, and the belly pan, these are a lovely gloss finish, they're actually gathering dust at the moment, so I need to keep them nicely polished, the lower belly pans and the V-piece there, these actually do want a wet sand and a polish, believe it or not, if I had time, I would wet sand those down with about 2,500 grit, then I would... Probably um, wet sand them again with 5,000 and then buff them and get it laser straight. Right, and that's it. All the panels are done, it's completed. So I'll get this out of my garage and on to the next project, sadly for me. Anyway, I'll not go on. I'm going to get another coffee and then sit and wait for Andy to arrive. See what he has to say. Rush me up. Bayless isn't out of this one either. They're going head to head. If you missed the acid round, South was incredibly fast and pushed Troy Bayless, but then had to settle for second place on the podium. Whilst he was walking to the second spot, he stood on the top step and said, This should have been me. And through on the inside comes Laconi, the switch back to Bayless. This is awesome racing. Bayless is down, Laconi's down. Oh, can you believe it? 
The world champion lost control of his bike and Laconi is down as well. He had nowhere to go. Right, the time is now. We've just arrived at AP Workshops. We're going to go inside and take a look at this bike, see if it's all running great and if it looks great. Since it landed, it landed here. It was rolling. It was rolling, but it basically was just an engine and frame, some wheels, yeah. and that was yeah. it. And it rolled in. So I worked out. I put 52 hours into this. I put 52 hours getting it right. It's been back and to and fro from engineering companies because of some modifications that's been made. But 52 hours, it is done. It is absolutely finished. The paintwork is glorious. The body looks nice. The bike rides well. I've been for a ride on it. I sent you a message last night and tormented you a little bit telling you this picture because basically this is it. I'm just here to buzz you up real bad now because I'm going to take that cover off and we're going to show you this. All right, so. I'm excited. Are you ready, are you ready for this? I am. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to do this. There you go, man. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Like it. I kind of the, the the best thing with this bike is well, just seeing it complete. But looking around it, just looking at you know every part of the the build has got a memory, a story to it. You know, I remember you know the small things like I tried to to my to my shame tried to put wheel bearings in. I think it was the front wheel and. Uh, I was like, Clive, I can't get the spindle in. And like I'd put them in skew with, et cetera, you know, seeing everything bolted together, every, every single part of this bike, seeing it complete. And it's, the thing I love most about it is that, especially with it being in the standard, like a standard color scheme, but with, you know, the, the CW is the kind of here. Front. Yeah, and on the front, just it's that little touch, that reminder of, you know, the journey of this build. Um, also just looking at, I don't know, like the grey swing arm, the GSXR forks, the, the hell radial calipers, there are subtle tweaks to this that, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of made it special from a distance, it just blends in, doesn't it? But up close, and I love that, I love that paint job, that just looks the absolutely awesome. clean, the bike's clean, you yeah. take the fairing panels off, it's as clean on the underside as it is on the outside. Every, there isn't a rusty nut and bolt on that bike anymore. It is absolutely, we have gone through it from start to finish. Thank you, man. Okay, from start to finish. So after that, it's just scuff it down, um, base coat black, and then we clear coat it. Um, and then it's the decals uh, applied after we've wet sanded the panel down again. And then it's clear coat again over that. And it's a, fi it's a final job, a final clear coat, which is the one that it gets your heart racing because it's sat in you think and you're checking your whole garage out for flies and stuff like that. There's always always a fly of doom that comes in. The way you're doing glossy doesn't matter because you're gonna point it out but sat in it is what it is when it's on the you can you can um, pull out some little tiny bits of dust in but um, it just means putting on more coats to cover any defects which will uh, will not look right.
but when you're doing gloss, it's, I, I kind of relax when I'm doing gloss work. I just, just shoot away like that, you know. I kind of beer in my hand for us. <laughs> you know, I want to, but just shoot away with gloss because yeah, I'm not scared. I'm not Men scared. Men can't be yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I'm actually paying better if I had a beer. No, but gloss, because I know I can, um, I can just sand any defects out of it and re clear it and wash it. So, but, but satin, this is it, yeah, really is a bit of a job. So. I, I think you've nailed it and I guess the thing is you know I should say so with the Project X channel that the mm. pool does a lot of I guess what bikes in this era right up to, to current yeah, day yeah. and all this stuff yeah. as well so you've got lots of experience hands on with you know working on repairing yeah. restoring you know panels that are, are far from perfect and bringing them up to that that new glory that that spec that people actually want and you know, yeah I mean, this, this is absolutely perfect transformation it looks Wow, awesome. I've just been working on this bike constantly for the last like, like forever. Since February, it's just been dominated the workshop. So tell me a little bit about this story on it. Well, I guess the, the last time I saw this bike was, well, like you say, probably Jan Feb time, and that was following a, a phone call with you. So the, the story is that my, my best mate Clive, he uh, was. When I say my wingman, I think, you know, he was the lead man, you know, the, the inspiration behind a lot of this bike's build back in his workshop at Braver Paintworks in Hull. And unfortunately, he, he passed away the back end of, of 2021. Uh, and then after a few months and the project being about kind of 70-ish percent finished, I just thought it can't, the story can't end there. And you know, I called you, Griff, and I said, look, this is where we're at. I haven't got a clue. I didn't know, the thing was, Clive was so good at just doing stuff. Uh, and you know, I was the fetcher and carrier in the story, really. You know, between you and, and Clive. Yeah, and, yeah. and it was like, well, what do I do? And I, I needed help, and I turned to you, and you said, get it, get it over to me. And you know, the, this bike came onto my radar as, as a kid growing up, you know, when I was at secondary school, you know, millions were, were in their, their prime, you know, they're on that world scene and I don't know, they're, they're everywhere. I always wanted one, 550 quid this bike cost, which like I say... 550 quid? Yeah, it did get really? to my garage and carry it back, so you know, there's, and you know that. I yes, mean, you had to get the thing living and breathing in the first place, but yeah, it was, it was just that, that opportunity to get something that I really wanted and, and to see it now, you know, looking this amazing, this complete and as you said, ready to ride I'm just I'm stoked and I'm I'm gagging to to do that next part it's a chore but I'm prepared to <laughs> put some serious miles on this for for a very long time it's absolutely amazing absolutely stunning wow
we just got back from AP workshops and I expected to come back, return home with an empty van. But it happens to be we have something very special inside here. It's going to be a future project, so stay tuned. Check it out.